Hello friends, this is Dr. Gaurav Kumar and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel so that we can bring up more such videos for you. Today we are going to discuss about yellow fever virus, which is a very deadly virus and we will be discussing about its introduction, epidemiology, the morphology of the virus, life cycle, pathogenesis, diagnosis and treatment. So let's begin the video. Starting with introduction, yellow fever virus is a member of Flaviviridae family. Yellow fever disease is transmitted by infected mosquitoes, especially Aedes aegypti. It causes yellow fever, which is an acute febrile hemorrhagic illness that occurs in the tropics and subtropics of Africa and South America. The yellow in the name refers to the jaundice which affects some patient in which the body, eyes and nails turns yellow. Therefore, the name yellow fever virus was given. Eliminate yellow fever epidemic strategy was launched in 2017 is an unprecedented initiative. With more than 50 partners involved, the Eliminate Yellow Fever Epidemic Partnership supports 40 at-risk countries in Africa and America to prevent, detect and respond to yellow fever suspected cases and outbreaks. Epidemiology As you can see from this map that yellow fever is highly prevalent in Africa and South American countries. And as I told you, the main uh, vector for this disease is Aedes aegypti mosquito. The majority of the outbreaks, that is approximately 90% occurs in Africa. It is estimated that annually yellow fever strikes over 2 lakh persons of whom about 30,000 percent dies with a mortality rate of 15 percent. During the disease, all age group peoples are uh, susceptible to this. Person involving in forest cleaning activities come in contact with these mosquitoes in forest and become infected. Most cases are in boys and men which is aged between 15 to 45 years and engaged in agriculture or forest activities. So these age group and these peoples are at risk of getting yellow fever infection. Morphology of the virus. So the yellow fever virus is an enveloped spherical particle with a diameter of around 50 nanometers with icosahedral nucleocapsid symmetry and surface projections which is acting as surface spikes for the binding. Virion contains three structural proteins. CE and either PRM which is present in immature virions or M protein which is present in the mature virions. Along with this it also contains seven non-structural proteins. Nucleic acid of this virus is linear positive sense single stranded RNA which is of around 11 kb long. You can see in the image the electron microscopic diagram of the virus while above on the top you can see the animated diagram of the same virus. Life cycle. So, virus binds to the host cell by the help of receptors and then the virus enters inside the cell by the process of endocytosis. Following that in the third step, virus envelope will get fused with the endosome and the nucleic acid is released. Remember the nucleic acid was positive sense RNA which undergoes replication to form multiple copies of it through a negative sense RNA intermediate. It results into the replication as well as translation of proteins which combinedly forms the virus structures and the uh, envelope is obtained from the host cell and the virus will be released out of the cell. Now this virus is ready to infect new cells. So entire replication occurs in the cytoplasm itself. Pathogenesis and Pathology The virus is introduced by a mosquito through the skin where it multiplies. It spreads to the local lymph nodes, liver, spleen, kidney, bone marrow and myocardium where it may persist. It is present in the blood early during the infection. The lesion of yellow fever are caused by localization and propagation of the virus in a particular organ. Infection may result in necrotic lesions in the liver and the kidneys. Degenerative changes may also occur in the spleen, 
lymph node and heart ch disease is characterized by hemorrhage and circulatory collapse virus injury to the myocardium may contribute to the shock and sometime people may also die because of it the main symptoms are divided into two stages early symptoms and the severe symptoms so sudden onset of fever chills severe headache back pain generalized body ache fatigue nausea and vomiting are included in early symptoms while severe cases will have the symptoms like high fever bleeding and shock and ye yellow decoloration of the skin and the eyes the vomit may be black with altered blood when the disease progress to the severe stage the mortality rate is higher which is approximately 20% especially among the young children and elderly adults because of their low immunity death usually occurs on day 7 to day 10 of the illness if the person is not responding responding to the treatment laboratory diagnosis so virus detection can be performed by immunohistochemistry methods or we can perform serology for the detection of igm antibodies earlier we were also using methods like hemagglutination inhibitions however now it has been quite replaced by elisa methods treatment there is no primary treatment for yellow fever only secondary supportive care are there secondary care in an intensive care unit that is icu is required for complete care victim require constant hydration as well as treatment for disseminated intravascular coagulation hemorrhage renal and hepatic defunctions secondary infection are also very common during yellow fever infection the most severe cases may require incubation due to significant hemorrhage prevention vaccination options are available for the people who lives in endemic areas where yellow fever infection is very common so people can be vaccinated second option which is completely easy is mosquito control in which we can use various strategies like using mosquito repellents using mosquito sidal ob sidal substances we can also use bad nets by which we can prevent the mosquito bite by following both these strategies we can prevent ourselves from getting yellow fever infection so i hope all of you might have liked the information shared in this video if you like the content please like this video share it with your friends and please subscribe to our channel so that we can bring up more such videos to you in future thank you